And uh, last question, since you guys are Shoreline Mafia, what is the best beach in LA? Mm. None of them. <laughs> I don't even like the beach, to be honest with you. I pick a pool over a beach any day. I for sure ain't going to no beach around here. Them bitches is like green. We, we, we don't, you know, yeah. <laughs> I want to take you guys back to when you first met on, you know, you connected through MySpace, right? Yeah. yeah. Who was in your top eight at the time? <laughs> Shit, I don't remember. I got like a top three, four. I, I low-key had like a top 40. I had everyone. <laughs> Who would be in your top eight today? Uh, bro. It'd yeah. probably be like the same people that was on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I know you, uh, you guys also recorded your first song on GarageBand when you were messing around, right? Yes, sir. Auto service, everything was recorded. What about the first ever song um, when you were just messing around? I don't yeah. remember the bars. I remember. Uh, it was some song called Friday. It was a Space Ghost part beat that we uh, found on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Shout out Space Ghost. Uh, I want to give a big shout out to motherfucking Shoreline Mafia. Y'all already know what the fuck it is, man. Shout out to y'all boys. I appreciate the love, man. I fuck with y'all music. Somebody send me a video of the interview. You know, the boys check in, you know what I'm saying? And shout me out. Like, y'all boys keep putting on, man. Keep going hard. Y'all music be sliding, bro. You feel me? Actually, I don't remember the bars, but I just remember the song. You feel me? It's probably still out there floating around somewhere if you dig deep enough on YouTube. How's the hook up? It was like one of those beats where the hook's like already in the beat. Like Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Sunday. Oh yeah, I remember we used to look for uh, YouTube beats that had hooks Hook already. Yeah. <laughs> and, and when did you guys go from there and be like, all right, this can, this can really happen. Right then and then. I know you heard about me, I'm the talk of the town. Jeans hold the beam and the beam hold me down. We did that nice. first song, it was like, yo, we sound good together. I'm like, about to do this shit. got like a, a thousand plays in like a week, which is like a time, it was like a big deal. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. And then uh, right after that, we was like, all right, bet, we gotta, we gonna do this shit together. We gotta come up with a name. Came up with a name. Came up with a name, like a few days after that song, and it was over. So what were some other name options were there any other ones that didn't make it um i mean like hella wave boys but we like incorporated that into the actual brand yeah so, you know otx I mean? that's, okay. that's, that's that's all the same shit you feel yeah oh there was an like ocean some shit it was, it was trying to come up with anything that had to do with like the water ocean yeah. shit. my rap name is my birth in the given name so what what made you choose to do that and not go with the rap name i feel like it in like life i always feel like if i ever want to get known for something i want to get known for it as myself you know what i mean so that's perfect way to do it so when you guys did those first couple of shows and parties yeah. like was the energy just crazy now nah, yeah literally the first show we did it was an eagle rock nobody knew who the fuck we was yeah like, we turned like, that bitch yeah, up yeah hell yeah like four people after performed. that it was like yo we gotta yeah. keep doing four people performed for us it was not even going up we performed place nobody even knew the fucking song yeah. it, was, it was going stupid so it was like oh yeah hell yes yeah, at one point i was pulling up to a bunch of random parties just Performance and shit. That, that's when like Musty was already coming out though. So that's what, that's like, yeah, yeah. That's when Musty was starting to pop. So you just walk in the parties, turn that bitch up. Did you used to have the nickname Stimpy? Uh yeah. <laughs> How'd you get that? <laughs> when name? I was in a uh, what was I? I was in like middle school. Um, cause of the two characters running Stimpy, but I guess the other, the fat one was uh, Stimpy. But I was scrawny as fuck. That's why. When did you drop that? Uh, you didn't want to make that your rap name? <laughs> not hell no. <laughs> Uh, what's it called? Um, nah, just my friends would call me that, but that was like when I was in like sixth grade. A long ass time. Okay, ago. okay. Uh, excuse me, Ren. It's time for my appointment. Who are your top three rap groups of all time? Mm, rap groups? Yeah. As like right now, shit. I like people that I listen to or just in general. Who's your favorite? I know uh, ASAP Mob is definitely my favorite. Okay. One of my favorites. Um, ASAP Mob, Migos, S O B R B. Did you see that Migos and uh, Bone Thugs were getting back, uh, back and forth? Come on. Oh uh, yeah, I seen, I seen Burner, AKA Lazy Bone, in the building, representing them Bone Thugs and Harmony. Young niggas talking about they the best group ever. We the best. You dig? Do you think there's a way to like? bridge the gap between like the old head groups and the new I mean, groups. Shit, I feel like old heads just kind of got to understand certain things and respect it rather than like trying to give their input. Yeah, I, I feel, I feel like I, if I was old, I would just embrace this shit. Like yeah. the music's obviously I was good. On, I, was I, can't, I can't see how you could be, you could be somewhat old 
and not enjoy the music, you feel me? The yeah. music's good. I was on the Migos side in that one. The crazy thing is, I, I really grew up listening to Bone, I fuck with Bone Thugs too. I grew up listening to Bone Thugs. All in middle school, that's what I was listening to. Elementary school too, shit. Because you guys are gonna see it soon. Soon there'll be a, whatever the next sound is, like the younger younger cats who, would, who have been inspired by you. And so like if you, let's say you see someone, no pun intended, riding your wave and coming up and making their own style with it, like what sorry, would you- It's already happening, but- uh, So I'm, many people trying to use their style. I, I fuck with it all. Too much. It's too, it's what do you have to say to all the people who it, try to be short line? It's right too si so some of that shit is too similar. Yeah. It's like well, oh God, y'all niggas, <laughs> niggas look silly. Like like it, it, it's different to be inspired by someone because obviously we everyone's inspired by someone, but y'all just doing it's too much. Whole other thing, just going and biting. Exactly. I'll tell you shit, and I'll be like, what the fuck? Especially because they was doing different type of music two years ago. Now all of a sudden they want to do what we doing when we kind of did our own thing. I want to do some LA West Side uh, best of. Okay, so all right. there's there's a lot of arguments about the best burger in LA. <laughs> best burger. Who, best who you guys are? Sheesh. Mm, all right, I'm gonna give you top three. Just because okay. I like umami burger. I like In and Out. Yeah. I like Fat Burger. Actually, yeah, no, 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 no. I was just about to say Fat Burger. It's, it's, too. It's, I'm gonna do top five. Okay, so Fat Burger. This is a spot in the valley. Is it Bills or Bob's Burger? I don't know. I think it's Bills. Bills or Bob's Burger. I think it might be Bills. It's like a little shack bussing. Number five is gonna have to be uh, it's fucking Shake Shack. Shake Shack. Yeah, that's my top five. What about you? Um, uh, Fat Burger in and out. But but what do you think about In and Out fries? There's been a lot of debate. They fire. That's the you best. Like what the yeah, fuck? That's you don't the like them? I get I get cheese fries. Yeah, no, I get I, the cheese I, melted I, on my I, shit. I like, Not animal style, just I, cheese. A lot of people come in town. They be like, "Why y'all like In and Out?" Nigga, it's, it's just fresh. In and Out is fire. It's a be, it's fresh, fresh. Like, it's like fresh. if I see In and Out somewhere on tour, like, cause oh, I be yeah. we be forgetting where the fuck we at on tour, cause we go from like the East Coast to West Coast. So say we get to somewhere and it's In and Out, we gonna eat some In and Out for sure. In and Out is busting. Anybody said otherwise, suck a dick. <laughs> it, was, it was because Lil Teddy came out. Lil Teddy was right here, like In and Out. Yeah, he said the fries. Yo, how do you feel about uh, In and Out, my guy? I don't really like it. I think the fries taste like rocks. I'm not even joking. The you're, fries taste like just like you're rocks. You're bugging. Shake Shack is better. Yo, bro, hold answer. me back. <laughs> Say it's not. That's that, it's yeah. not. I think the fries are kind of trash, okay, but I he love it. He tripping. Let us take a trip, man. You gotta get just... an animal style, then the fries not good. Oh, come Ooh. on, man. That I little tech, I like his song, but shit, I fuck with it now, fries. Yeah, yeah. In, in and out go crazy. <laughs> Yo, my stomach is rumbling. You can probably hear that shit on the mic, my stomach rumbling. <laughs> Ben, ben, Benz, all I think about comics. 30 and a 40, all I think about drama. I don't really got that shit. We do so many shows, there ain't no ritual now. Nah, it's just fucking uh, get up and go. You know what I mean? Maybe take a little shot or something before. I don't know. It ain't. It's, it's pretty. It's, yeah. it's pretty. We got it down to the science almost. But it's still room to improve. We still learning type shit. So, yeah, you know what I mean? So, y'all don't turn up before the downstairs? Uh, not all the time, cause I mean, if you're on a tour for like 30 days, you're not just gonna turn up every day. Up every yeah. day. <laughs> it don't go like that. If you're on a tour for 30, 50 days, by like the 10th day, you like fuck on you wanna perform. Yeah. I, I, we had tried to do that, you know what I mean? The first couple tours, but shit, you ended up just whipping yourself. You just fuck yeah, up your whole tour. Hard. After that, like yeah, like you said, after like 10th day, you just ruin your whole tour. You're just gonna be tired the rest of the tour. Well, speaking of uh, turning <clears throat> up, I know you guys dropped the party. <clears throat> yes, sir. What is the craziest? Party, whether it's been after show, on stage, which oh, one? Man. If you had to pinpoint, yeah, I can't ask. It, it's like been, it's been so many years apart. I, yeah, he just been partying for done, so long. I done been to some party. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like we just could, we just turn it down. I'm about to say yeah, we're calming, we we calming down now. But uh, I feel like we was partying like rappers before we was rappers. Yeah, no, nah, I, I don't think so. That's kind of how we got into rapping. We just like, oh yeah, I did some crazy shit. I'm a uh. I didn't even talk about it. All right, shit. There, was, there, was, there was these condos. We used to throw parties like in some unopened condos right there on like Highland and Hollywood before it was open. It was in high school and shit was going up. Oh, like before they were even? Oh, yeah. When yeah. it was under construction. We broke, we broke into them, had everybody come up in there. There was like two. Like every Friday, though, not yeah. like one, two one spot, time. Two spots that was open and it was like the big ass one of the lofts type of thing. <laughs> Did everyone from the high school know? Hell yeah, we were going to fuck <laughs> up. Yeah. Not everybody was down to come. Yeah, there was some. Yeah, one time there was a fucking ghetto birds and shit. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. And he just had to dip. Um, yeah. it's being you know turning down, starting a new leaf. You're both new, not new fathers. I mean, I know you had a kid before, but new babies. What is uh the biggest takeaway you guys have had so far that 
has changed your perspective? I mean, it's different having a kid at different ages, you know what I mean? You kind of like, a, there's different things you learn about it, different things you take from it. I just feel like, you know what I mean? It keeps you kind of level head. You know, it keeps your priorities Most straight. Definitely. You know what it, I mean? it, it just makes me want to work harder, you feel me? Yeah. I feel, I feel like it, it's, it's a lot more responsibility and all types of shit. Yeah, hell yeah. It also kind of, it's kind of hard because you feel me? Like, let's say we leave for the two month time. When, when they babies, that's like a two month chunk that you're missing out your baby's life, which is kind of, it's kind of weird. Yeah. You, feel, you feel me? But uh, shit, you know what I mean? It's got to be done. So that's what, shout out FaceTime. FaceTime, yeah. <laughs> I saw you, I think you said that you bought a $2,000 stroller. Oh, uh, yeah, you know what I mean? What, what's the most expensive uh, baby purchases you guys have? Is that it? Probably the strollers. I say stroller and like what my girl's like diaper bag and shit. What about, oh God! <laughs> what about you guys? After you got your first big check from music, was there a specific purchase that you're like? <laughs> Shit, no, I, I ain't buying nothing specific. I was my first time really having dough like that. I pulled out ten bands out the bank. It was just fucking, just fucking them up. What did you spend it on? I bought a pint, went to Roof Chris, uh, bought some. Oh nice yeah, the, the, the day we got signed, that was the first time having Roof Chris on. Huh? Yeah, was yeah, it? Yeah, that so. was fire. Uh, got, got, got some. It was activists too. I got some activists. I was just fire. I, I was just fooling with it. I'm fine. What'd you eat at Bruce Chris that night? Um, uh, some cowboy. type of steak. I don't know what type of steak. <laughs> I, I had a cowboy. So I, steak. I remember. I hate people that go to Roof Chris and get chicken. Yeah. <laughs> My fucking baby mom be doing that. I'm like, what are you doing? The homie Hope be doing that. But that also doesn't eat bottom feeders. <laughs> After Fox 11 first aired this story promo, members of Shoreline Mafia posted to their Instagram account this response. Have you guys talked to Fox News lately? Uh, no. Fuck Fox. The band declined our request for an interview. We close to like completing, well the album's pretty much like complete on our end. We just waiting for our label to like oh, yeah, finalize you. features and get that going. But that's pretty much it. Once that shit drop, next level, we going crazy. The only feature I ever did that was hyped on was like a Pee Wee Longway. That shit was hard. Oh yeah, he, he got an unreleased uh, Pee Wee song. I'm gonna drop that. That's dope. Last question, since you guys are Shoreline Mafia, what is the best beach in LA? Mm. None of them. I'm just None like, of them? Dirty as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even like the beach, to be honest with you. Oh God, the only time, the only time I, uh, I get in the water uh, was when we went to uh, Hawaii. That's the only time I go to the beach. I pick a pool over a beach any day. I for sure ain't going to no beach around here. Them bitches is like green. We, we, we don't, you know, yeah. <laughs>